Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Magnus and today I will be talking about licensing. Licensing could be the most boring about Cisco networking, but it's something that is needed and something that actually costs a lot of money. So you need to think about it before you purchase anything. This is what can make or break a deal, so to say. Just make sure to, to read up on the licensing and license your boxes correctly. So before we start, I don't know if you are familiar with how Cisco licensing has worked pre previously, but more or less they did have a LAN base that was a layer 2 switch. And then they have the layer 3 versions and that was called IP based and then IP services. And the difference between this was like uh, BGP, MPLS and, and such things that was in the IP services. and. Uh, IP based had more basic routing protocols like uh, OSPF and this vary between the switches. Um, but now they have changed to something called network essential that is the comparison to LAN base meaning a layer 2 switch. And then for the layer 3 versions they have something called network advantaged. Compared to before where everything was perpetual, now you need to have the perpetual version, either network essential and net or network advantage. And on top of this, you needed to add a subscription based module and it's minimum three years when you buy it. So either you need to buy the Cisco DNA essentials or the Cisco DNA advantage. Let's start for the lower version, the Cisco DNA essential. More or less, when you buy the switch, then you will have the network essential within the blue box. And this is perpetual, meaning this is the stuff that the switch will have forever. So you will not lose any of the blue stuff, even if you don't have a subscription on the switch. So the switch will still be able to do like VLANs, QS, etc, etc. You don't need to have a subscription for that. And that's really important to understand. Then it will be same as your legacy, like 2960 models. And you see some basic things within routing actually works as well. Like RIP, EGRP, OSPF, etc. And this is because the essential you can actually put on a bit bigger boxes that support routing as well. Keep in mind, you see a lot of, of uh, asterisks here. So it's not supported on the uh, 9600 version, for example. And then it comes to the green one, the subscription based that you need to buy. You cannot skip this. You need to buy this when you order the switch, either in a three or five or seven year terms. I would uh, suggest that you buy it in a three year so you can try it and see if you actually need it. Cisco is selling or offering the DNA center to a lot of customers. And here you may or may not need the subscription. So it depends on how you will handle your network in the future. And all of us want to automate and uh, we have more boxes with fewer people. So centralized management, but you can do centralized management in different ways as well. But just keep that in mind. The subscription is not optional. It's mandatory. So you need to buy it even if you don't use it at least for three years. And next up, we have the network advantage. A network advantage is the new version of the IP based and IP services. So this is for the more advanced boxes. So it's not available in all switches and it's mandatory in some switches. And the blue box is what you get as a perpetual. You keep it always. And you see here asterisk, it's not available MPLS on the 9200, for example. And the green one is the one that you need to, to buy for three, five or seven years. It's not optional, it's just needed. And everything here on this page, 
you also get all the functions that was listed under the essential version. So it's all the essential plus the advantage versions. So it's not like you're missing the lower end stuff. It's just adding more. And lastly, we have the DNA Premiere. So here you get the IEC, Stealth Watch. So this is, uh, if you have um, 802.1x, for example, and you don't have the licenses for the IEC already. So this is more or less a full spec license, and uh, you need to read the details about it. Um, I haven't used this myself. I myself use the advantage. The reason why we do that is because we have a DNA center. We use MPLS, etc. in our boxes. You need to figure out which license fits for your company and what use, what are you going to use the specific switch for. I also added a, a page where you can see everything at once. So it's a bit easier. So if you need, just pause it here and uh, read through the different versions and uh, what the offering actually is. So the blue ones are perpetual and the green ones are subscription based. The functions are different depending on your hardware. So not all Catalyst can do MPLS for example. You need bigger boxes for doing MPLS. And it's the same as it was before. A 2960 couldn't do MPLS as well. You needed something bigger like a 3750 or a 3850. And so, so you need to check what is the equivalent to your old switches. Do you need to add something? Are you planning to rebuild your, your network in a specific way? If you're planning to use like SDA access or SD access, well, you need to go quite high up in the boxes that you need and it can run up the cost quite a lot. So think about how you want to build your network, what type of switches you want and how do you need to license them. I also found a page on Cisco's uh, website explaining the functions in a different way. So uh, here's a few pictures on how Cisco is explaining the different licensing model that they currently offering. And current today it's um, March 8, 2020. So this may change in the future. You never know. Uh, companies like to change uh, licensing model and um, Cisco has been pretty consistent until now. And this is a way to have even more consistency across the platform, make it easier. But it will be a struggle for us that just recently learned the old licensing model that we need to relearn something new. But uh, that's the way for an IT tech. So just deal with it and uh, let's see. You may ask why Cisco has done this. Well, Cisco want to make more money, subscription based. Um, Licensing is something more and more companies has. It's a way to guarantee your revenue more or less. So give me your thought about Cisco's new licensing model and uh, what you think about it. What licenses do you use yourself? And uh, will this be advantage for you? I hope you did enjoy this video. Thank you for watching and I catch you in the next one. Talk to you later. Bye.